So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Today we're going to talk about an old boring iPhone. This is the iPhone 10. Yes, this phone is not the cool iPhone anymore, but we're going to talk about why people love iPhone and this is a good reason why. This iPhone's over four years old and it's not the newest iPhone, but I still like it. If you take a look, look at these sides. They're still premium, still a stainless steel build right here and just the overall device still feels like a thousand bucks in your hand. You could buy these right now for around 200 to 250 bucks here. Take a look at an iPhone 13 and take a look at an iPhone 10. The general makeup of these devices is not too far apart. Yes, you have squared edges, a smaller notch, but overall the iPhone 10 still feels like a premium device. Heck, the phone still even runs pretty good. If you take a look at this, I mean the performance is solid on this phone. Yes, it's not as fast as an A15 device, but you can still run your favorite apps not too bad on this phone every single day. Again, this one's headed towards his fifth birthday later this year and everything seems to still perform quite smooth. We're still running a 60 hertz OLED on here, which is not too different than the 60 hertz OLED for the iPhone 13. Yes, the iPhone 13 does get brighter and is a better calibrated display, a little bit bigger, but on the whole, not too much different. Yeah, look, it's plain old iOS, but take a look at this. We're running iOS 15.4.1, the latest edition of iOS. You find me a phone from 2017 that is running the latest version of the software and still doing it quite well. The Galaxy S8 came out in this year and they no longer get updates. I think their last security patch was way back in December, November-ish. I could be wrong there, but they don't get major updates anymore. Apple iPhone 10 looks like it might be even getting the latest version of iOS 16 coming soon. So take a look at that. It's just another reason in Apple's tool about why they do like, <laughs> people love these iPhones right here. Again, headed towards its fifth birthday already. And again, where this iPhone 10 might be going on five years old, just the fact that you can kind of just use this phone as a daily phone still, I mean, if you bought an iPhone 10 in 2017, that was a good investment. Even though it seemed like a lot back then, $1,000 was like the first iPhone that really shocked the world with a thousand bucks. Think about how long you would have been able to use this phone if you kept it this entire time. A lot of people did not keep it, but I am blown away. This phone still performs, that was my thumb. This phone still performs very well. It's pretty incredible. Uh, easily a daily use phone, no problems whatsoever. Pretty amazing that you can do this on Apple's A11 Bionic chipset from several years ago, three gigabytes of RAM. This is this iPhone experience is still very smooth. It's not a big issue whatsoever. As you can see, the performance not too much different from going through the iPhone 13. Yeah, the 13 is snappier, but again. We're talking about daily iPhone use here. No problems on the iPhone 10. The camera on this phone is not perfect though. I mean, we have a dual telephoto lens on here, but I do like telephoto lenses, but it's still usable. It's perfectly usable. You can do a 2X zoom. You can zoom up to 10. You still have 4K 60 video on here. And when the recent updates, you were able to change it from up here. The phone still performs fine in the photo photography portrait. I mean, granted, you're not gonna get yourself the highest quality front-facing camera on here. You're not gonna get the best overall video quality on any iPhone today, obviously, but I could easily use this and it's a very functional camera still in 2022. It's a camera phone. You can put in different filters, sharpen things up a bit, and you're gonna get images that rival some of the latest iPhones. They're not gonna come close if you wanna pixel peep and really zoom in and get really detailed, but the average Instagram post, you're probably not gonna be able to tell the difference. Now, now, the battery life is not amazing, especially if you pick up one of these phones right now and you do have really bad battery health on there, but if you find one with pretty good battery health, the iPhone 10 still easily can make it through a day with medium use. Again, not gonna be your heaviest use phone. Some people argue it'll easily get through the day, but anybody using it heavy won't. But at the same time, the fact of the matter is iOS is so efficient, it still has pretty good standby drain. Yes, it's pretty horrible, again, if you find one with like 80% capacity, but that's because your battery's worn down. iPhone 10s with newer battery replacements are just fine. They will make it through the day. 
no big issues whatsoever. Steve Jobs once said, it's a phone, it's an iPod, it is an internet communicator. Yes, we have that, but what I wanna mention about this is if almost five years later, you have no issues with communications right here. You can do iMessage and you're still getting the latest features, you're still getting all the gifts, all the fun stuff on here, no problems. Phone calls work fine. Yes, they're not, the, this reception is not as good as the newer iPhone with the 5G performance, stuff like that. But the truth of the matter is, is I'm only running 4G type speeds with a little bit of a boost because 5G is not available in every area on the iPhone 13, the actual 5G that's blazing quick, that's spotty. So overall, this phone still performs just fine, just kind of like an iPhone 11 does. And you could see this. I mean, there's just no delay. I just love this. Oh, and by the way, you can still sell this phone for, you know, 250, 300 bucks, depending on the condition and storage. Yeah, going on five and I'm still netting myself 200 to 300 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good, I would say. Good luck getting more than $50 from some phones from 2017. I'm not gonna say any names, but you can put them in those vending machines in the mall and you're gonna find yourself getting an offer of 20 bucks, so. <laughs> definitely pretty decent amount of money you're getting back even though this phone is almost five years old and that's mostly due to the bill of materials you have stainless steel glass on the back it's an iphone it could be recycled and put towards the materials of making a newer iphone or some other product so you get a pretty good return on that investment oh and the speakers are still plenty loud as well this iphone can you guess which iphone this is well if you guess the iphone 13 mini you'd be correct Dual speaker sounds pretty good here, even though the phone again headed towards its fifth birthday. I can imagine this phone still being loud enough at its seventh, eighth birthday, so very good overall there. Oh, by the way, it still uses OLED technology, which has been basically talked about on pretty much every phone. It's marketed as the best tech for displays, and iPhone 13 uses OLED tech as well. Again, I'm not saying it's a better display. It's clearly not smaller, but at the same time, it's not that far off, you know what I mean? So definitely they've been making these displays quite nice for several years ago, since several years ago. And yes, I know Samsung was a supplier, but Apple tuned it to their liking and you could see very good overall detail, very good overall color balance, beautiful display here going on its fifth birthday. Now, a lot of people say that these iPhones are just boring and you know why they're so boring? Because they just keep going and going. They're just really good. They're made amazingly well. And you know, every time you get one, it's gonna be a similar experience. It just lasts and lasts. That kind of reminds me of something, other things in the market like appliances, you know, cars that last forever. We're talking super reliable vehicles, super reliable, you know, appliance materials. It just gets boring because it's so good. People just love iPhones because guess what? They just work and they just last. And you get a decent amount back on your return. iOS keeps being updated for several years to come and this is a great example right here why people love iPhone. This iPhone 10 right here, just take a look. I'm using an iPhone 13 in 2022. An iPhone 10, the thing just works. Bye.